This is my Game Awards uh, prediction thing. Look at this. This is my Game Awards... <laughs> This is my Game Awards bingo board for next week. Right? We got the Weeb Row. Right? It's all stuff that's never going to be at the Game Awards, but it's fun to think about. We got Valkyria Chronicles, Senran Kagura, Blue Protocol, anything by Spike Chunsoft. This one's interesting, right? Japan Studio went defunct, but they have all these really good IPs that they possibly could sell to people. And the people who buy them could make stuff, right? Paradigm is to represent uh, Jacob Janerka because Jacob Janerka has a new game called The Dungeon Experience and he's been showcasing it at Indian events in Australia already. So Paradigm is to represent Jacob Janerka. He he possibly could, could show up, right? They possibly could, when they're highlighting indie games, show his new game, The Dungeon Experience. Um, like... Everything on this board is like less than a 1% chance of showing up, apart from Kojima Productions. That's why he's in the center is like the free square. Um, we got Dead Series, right? We got Darksiders. Maybe, maybe there's a new Darksiders. How, how do you know, right? Tomb Raider, which is in complete limbo right now. Nobody owns Tomb Raider. There's a there's an anime coming out. So maybe if the anime shows up, I don't know. They showed the cyberpunk anime um at one of the other game awards so maybe gears of war right and we got wolfenstein and then i couldn't fit this into the row that's why it has a little asterisk bend studio the people that made um what do you call it days gone bend studio are on the list uh we got firaxis that make xcom firaxis recently made that marvel game maybe they're gonna have another xcom we got Tango Gameworks that made uh, Evil Within, Ghostwire Tokyo, and Hi-Fi Rush. Maybe they'll show something. We got Asobo, the people that made Plague Tale. Ember Lab, the people that made Kane of Bridge of Spirits. Kill Monday Games, the company that made Little Misfortune. They've been quiet for a couple of years, right? They, they have been quiet. Right, we got Sam Barlow. <laughs> We got Sam Barlow, right? Maybe Sam Barlow is going to be there. Um, we got Moonhood, right? Sam Barlow is the guy that made uh, her story, Telling Lies. You know who Sam Barlow is. Immortality. Um, Moonhood is a studio that the main guy who made, oh God, what's it called? Lost in Random. Remember Lost in Random? The like Tim Burton stop motion game? He has a new studio called Moonhood and they recently had a cinematographer guy, like a videographer in their studio and I so totally feel like they have a trailer. I feel like they have a trailer coming soon. They haven't announced a game they're making but they've been literally showing the character models for months. Um, so I think Moonhood has a really good shot of being at the Game Awards. Everything else is a meme, right? Like it, it's, it's literally a meme but... It is what it is. Neon Giant, the people that made The Ascent, they've been quiet. Um, they've been very quiet. Then we got the usual suspects row. This is the best row. We got Matan, right? Matan represents any stage invader, right? If we have a stage invader, we check this box. We got Jordan Vogt Roberts, the director of Kong Skull Island. Jordan Vogt Roberts is uh, apparently making the Metal Gear Solid movie. So if there's any place, any place to show the Metal Gear Solid movie trailer, it's the Game Awards, right? And if there's any man to do it, it's Jordan Vogt Roberts. It totally is. We got uh, Keanu Reeves, right? Keanu Reeves is probably the second most likely thing on this board, other than Kojima Productions, to actually be at the event. He's just there. Um, yep. We got uh, Joseph Fares. Right? The guy who said, fuck the Oscars! Remember him? He's won Game of the Year, right? Didn't... Oh, wait. He did, right? He won it for It Takes Two. Didn't he win Game of the Year? Anyway, we got him. And then we got Epic Flute Guy. Remember Epic Flute Guy who played... <laughs> who played the flute in the medley? We got Epic Flute Guy. And that is my Game Awards predictions. 
Now, I genuinely think Kojima Productions is a yes, right? But I don't think anything else will happen. I think Kojima Productions, Jacob Janerka, and Keanu Reeves are like the three that could show up. There's no way I'm completing a row. There's no way that a row is getting completed, but we can dream. And honestly, if anything other than those three shows up, I, I think that my dreams would be made. I think my dreams would be made. Any any game from Senran Kagura would be like amazing. The guy that's the director and creator of Senran Kagura actually uh, worked on another game series called Kadagawa Jet Ski Girls. And it's like hot women, anime women on jet skis and then he's now working on a game that was announced for PlayStation 4 and has been delayed so much that people don't even know if he's even working on it anymore. Um, his social media is just full of gacha games. He plays a lot of gacha games. He actually worked on one and uh, yep, that's all he does. All he posts is the food he's eating, the gacha games he's playing. He plays Nikkei Goddess of Victory, the one with the jiggly asses and that's about it. But yeah, that's my board. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a do you think it's a good predictions, bad predictions? Do you think any of this stuff will actually be in the game awards? <laughs> Fucking looks like Axel Rose. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Come out. 